Hello, my name is Rebecca Hammond. I'm a clinical imaging specialist with GEOEC. And I'm Sean McClendon. I'm a clinical imaging specialist with GE Healthcare Surgery. I'm here to show you some of the breaks and options to help you with positioning for your surgery cases. All right, so typically you see we have an OR table here in the C-arm. If you imagine a patient position on the table in the supine position, the doctor asks you to bring the C-arm in over the top of the patient. You pull the C-arm in, sort of eyeball where you think you're positioned. All right, here's where some of the locks come into play. Notice you have your green in and out break. If, if you needed to move the C-arm back towards you, toward the patient's side, you have no movement of the arm if you needed to come back in it. You have to fight the whole weight of the system. So you would have to move the whole system back. A tip we really like to give out to our, our techs is if you take the green brake, advance it to 10 centimeters. This allows you automatically when you push the C-arm in to position, it gives you 10 centimeters to be able to move the C-arm in or back without having to move the whole system. Really, really helpful to do that before you push the C-arm in. Saves you having to fight the whole weight of the system. Another one that's very helpful in a lot of times in spine procedures is the orange break, which is our craniocaudal lock. It's really helpful for when you're trying to position in spine procedures and line up end plates or line up, get the pedicles lined up in certain ways, to whatever the doctor would like to see, whether you're working with a superior or inferior end plate. You can also raise the C-arm up and down to give more cranial tilt if you're hitting the table or more caudal tilt, just like that. Sometimes even in this process, you may even, even, even need to do your AP to lateral lock to line up your spinous process in the middle. So you can unlock your lateral lock and do a little bit of overscan or underscan to put your pedicle and your spinous processes in the middle of your vertebral bodies. So one of the other big positions we talked about earlier is going to a lateral position. As you see, as the C-arm positions around the table, you do not have to worry about the x-ray tube or the detector hitting the patient or the table. This goes to a 90 degree view lateral. You can even go to 95 degrees we talked about earlier sometimes. It gives you that little bit of extra five degrees of flexibility. Then we go back to an AP view and we move over to the 55 degrees of underscan and again, overscan. And as you notice, we have 55 degrees over, no contact with the patient or the table.